Close to fitness, U.S. kids right at the back of the pack when compared to children in other countries. Chief Health Editor Dr. Parth Nandy is here right now to tell us how American kids rank uh, next to some of these other countries out there. Yeah, pretty frightening. So parents, you need to listen carefully mm -hmm. because poor fitness at a young age affects your child's health later in life. So over 1.1 million kids in 50 countries between the age of 9 and 17 took part in a popular field test, the 20-meter shuttle run. Now, how do American kids do? At the bottom, we ranked 47th place out of 50. I'm afraid the answer is going to probably be obvious, but what are we doing wrong? So you may be thinking it's, it's the Western lifestyle, but kids in Canada, guess what they rank? Where? Much higher, 19th place. Right. The study points to wealth inequality. People apparently with large gaps, with uh, rich and poor, often had low fitness levels because poverty is linked to a lower physical activity. Now, the thing we have to worry about is it's, it's bad enough for kids now, but we look down the road. What kind of effects are we talking about? And so later in life, it's, it's, it's really bad. So there's two studies mm -hmm. linking kids' fitness levels to serious health consequences in adults. So kids with low fitness levels were more likely to die prematurely from any cause later in life. All right, what are your prescriptions then to try to keep kids healthy now and down the road? So real wake-up call for parents. We need to get our kids moving. So my prescriptions are as follows. Number one, kids need, what, 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous uh, physical exercise every day. Get them involved in sports, swimming, biking, hiking, dancing lessons, whatever it takes. Next, find the fitness activity that's right for your child. Make sure it's age appropriate so a child doesn't get frustrated or bored. Also, this is really important. Limit screen times to two hours per day, not 12. Too many children are sedentary, spending four or more hours in front of the screen. Make sure you lead by example. You're not looking at a phone all day, so your role model. Make sure you're incorporating physical activity into your daily life every day. Now you got kids. Is this your prescription for them and how's it working? Absolutely. Well, we tell them to, to get out there and do things and we have them like make dinner with them, right, make, right. you know, clean the house. So we get them involved in, in, in our chores so they do it. Keep it busy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, Joanne. All right. Good advice, guys. Thanks. Still ahead on the Now to Try.